Canva has a great feature to enhance pictures. First, select a picture and then click on the Edit Images tab right here. Scroll down and find the Tools option. Click on the Auto Focus option. It identifies the subject of the image and blurs the background. You will see two options where you can manually adjust the background or increase and decrease the blur. To go back to the original picture, click on Reset. Then, you can either save changes or cancel. I'll cancel here. Now, we will select the other image and in the same way, go to Edit Images. We will then click Auto Enhance and it is basically a one-click filter to enhance the quality of the image. It balances the brightness, clarity, contrast, etc. You can adjust the intensity and use this option to compare with the original. Apply or cancel the same way. Now, we will go to Edit Images again. There is this other option to enhance and it is called the Face Retouch where it automatically applies filters to the photo to enhance the look by whitening teeth, removing the red eye effect or smoothing the skin. In the Auto option, Canva will apply their own default setting but you can also customize your own way by selecting the other options. To adjust videos, first go to home and click on the video tab. Here you can create different types of videos. Select the first option. You can see several templates and styles. To upload a video, click on uploads. As you can see, you can either upload a video or record yourself. Once the video is selected, click on the edit video tab. Here. Click on the Adjust tab and you can edit the video however you want according to brightness, contrast, color, etc. You can also reset the video to start over again. On the Effects tab, Canva has a few default filters which you can use as well. Canva has a very easy way to batch create social media posts. At the home page, Click on the social media tab. Go to the first option under popular and now you can select the formats for the different social media platforms. You can add any text you want. Also, we can upload any image or logo just like this. Continue to add templates of your choice to make your post look good. There are also different types of categories. Once done, click finish. Now, we can see that the post is ready and we can download. Grouping is a very useful feature in Canva. I have two pictures here. To group them together, we will first select both the images. Just right click and you can see the group option here. There is also a shortcut key. Now, once the grouping is done, we can see that we can move multiple pictures at the same time. It is a very useful feature if you need to move several pictures at once. To ungroup them, right click and select the ungroup option. Now, we have three images here which we can move. If we want to place an image at a point and don't want it moved, I can use the lock feature. It is a very useful and very basic feature. To use this, select the image and click on the lock sign in the top right hand corner. Now it's locked and you can see that I cannot move the images. You can also unlock it after clicking on the same sign again.